Hi, I'm Owen, and this is a quick recipe just to show you at home how to take a really classic, um, historic Spanish dish, which you'll find in many tapas bars, and just give it a modern seasonal twist, but also really achievable at home using some chefy techniques, uh, but to be really, really tasty, could impress at a dinner party or a family lunch or something like that. Uh, the dish is uh, Pisto Manchego, which is essentially an old Castilla-La Mancha dish based, I guess you would say, the best way to describe it is something like a Spanish ratatouille. So all those summer med veg braised with tomatoes and you sort of have it with, a, with an egg or with jamón or something like that. But being winter now, I thought we'd use local produce and turn it on its head and we're going to do it with purely root vegetables. So we're going to do a root veg pisto nice and refined. And then we're gonna do a crispy deep fried egg in panko breadcrumbs. And fingers crossed, you'll have that nice gooey center when you open it up to make a sauce. We're also gonna finish that off with lashings of shaved uh, truffle manchego. So it's gonna be really sort of indulgent, luxurious dish, but veg based and really simple. So, first off, I've done a lot of hard work for you. You can see in here, we have got um, little brunoise, which is a chefy term for real fine dice, essentially. You could do it bigger, it's not a problem. We've got um, squash or pumpkin, whatever you can find this time of year. Leeks, celeriac, um, garlic, carrots. Uh, and we've cooked those off separately in olive oil and brought them all together and used dried wild mushrooms that you could find in the supermarket and made a stock out of that to finish cooking it with uh, all those vegetable woods and bring it together and dice the wild mushrooms through it. So you've got a really earthy, rich sort of pisto, but with root veg only. So we're just gonna finish that off in the pan now, put some nice fresh parsley through it and warm it through. Um, and whilst we're doing that, I'll show you the egg uh, that I half done earlier for you. Um, but it's easy to do at home. So we're poaching, and just boiling water, dash of white wine vinegar, uh, and then you're gonna poach it for a simmer for two minutes maximum. And then I've refreshed them in ice water here. These are um, Arlington cackle bean eggs, beautiful, rich yolks. And then we're gonna breadcrumb them, okay? You're just gonna, you don't need to be too fussy about your parsley, it's just going to give that nice fresh finish to that rich dish. Okay. I'm just going to pop that in there and then we're going to warm that through. You can always finish it off with a bit of fruity olive oil and then that part of the dish will be ready to plate. Whilst that's going on, you take these out of the ice poached eggs refreshed in iced water. Another little tip for home. Uh, so it completely halts that cooking process. Um, and it doesn't keep carrying on cooking once you take it out. So they'll be nice and easy to deal with as well, as well then. Just gonna dab all that off. I'm gonna breadcrumb. So you need a bowl of flour, egg and breadcrumbs. Just a couple of eggs beaten in here. Just going to help bind it. One tip is trying to keep your hands clean to, throughout the whole process of breading. Not always easy. So either use a spoon or use just one hand for one part of it until you get to the breadcrumbs and then you can flip and use your other hand just to stop you getting a gungy, eggy mess on your fingers. Okay. Um, it's that. So just all the way through in the egg. Go. Okay. So no gaps, just coat it all the way. And then straight into the breadcrumbs. And that's it from that. And here I'm just gonna use my hands to get all the way over to cover it. And then we're gonna deep fry these. Give a lovely crisp crunchy outside and a nice, soft, easy middle. So, 
panned the eggs in your panko breadcrumbs. The pisto is on the go, just warming through. Now we're gonna deep fry the eggs. I'm gonna do it not in our restaurant fryers, but how you would do it at home, because most people don't have a deep fat fryer. So I've put um, a deep sided pan on the hob. And if you're doing this at home, uh, you could use light olive oil would probably be the best thing. And you don't want to fill that pot any more than one third, because you've got to be really careful with this hot oil. Uh, I've actually used a probe as well. I've taken it to 180 degrees, which is your frying temperature. And we're just going to lower these gently into the oil, like so. It should be nicely frying but not going crazy. Okay, just be really safety conscious with that. So there will take up to a minute just to go nice and golden brown. And then it's all about plating up then, okay? Whilst that's going, I'll just show you these again. These look, this looks lovely now, all come together. A bit of parsley through there. This is obviously our winter version, so in the summer we would do that more classic version with um, sort of peppers, aubergine, courgettes, red onion, and lots of fresh seasonal tomatoes. It's a great seasonal dish that you can alter throughout the year and make the most of using people uh, growing local veg, which is obviously something everyone should be doing and supporting local. Um, but that's gonna go in the base, top it with the egg, and that lashings of this truffle manchego for a really luxurious veg dish. Okay, let's say these are done already. Again, if you've got a slotted spoon, better than a spatula or a normal spoon. Turn your oil off straight away and just put it to the back and leave it there till it's nice and cold, hour or two. So here we go, lovely crispy eggs. And so simple. Just gonna be generous with that rich pisto. I'm gonna fill a base of a bowl, use a plate. You could do a big platter of these for people if you wanted, however you fancy. Use this one just on top. Really aged manchego, can be quite crumbly. Big layer on top. Be really generous, because that's going to give so much flavour to that dish. So this is your autumn winter root vegetable pisto manchego. The crispy Arlington egg and luscious truffled manchego. Best paired with a Estrella 1906 Reserva.